Welcome to Principles of Success. This is week five, session four. This course is a part of Malco Institute of Technology's leadership series. Our companion text is See at the Top by Zig Ziglar. Welcome to week five, session four. Today we look at step 13 of the 15 steps to a healthier self image. Step 13. Join an organization with worthwhile goals that encourage public speaking. One of the best, quickest, and most efficient ways to improve your self-image and performance is to join an organization that has worthwhile goals and encourages you in public speaking. If you are unable to join one where you are, then there are some useful tips that we will share with you to get you started with public speaking. First, keep it simple. Don't let the presence of an audience spook you. Whether you're speaking to a conference room of colleagues or a lecture hall or just a couple of friends, the communication is the same. Don't make it more complicated and put all those stresses on your shoulders. Focus on the audience. Thinking about them will keep you from thinking about yourself and all the ways you might be making a mistake. Be interested in them. Breathe before you speak. If you're shaking or tense, it's likely because you're holding your breath, sending your body into a panic. To stabilize yourself, take a deep breath. I invite you to view this video entitled, Facing the Fear of Public Speaking. Additional resources are available on the website. Join us next time for session five. What is the one thing Americans say they fear the most, even more than dying? It's public speaking, heart racing, panic, no place to run. And we're seeing so many famous examples on tape tonight. ABC's John Kenyon has decided to see how to tame that fear. Ladies and gentlemen, director and producer Michael Bay. He's one of the most successful men in Hollywood, behind movies like Transformers. But last week in Las Vegas, producer-director Michael um, Bay was giving a speech is a director, when suddenly <sighs> he froze. Excuse me, I'm sorry. He had sorry. to leave the stage. Okay. Let's thank Michael Bay for joining us. On his website, an embarrassed Bay said live shows just aren't his thing. Um, <laughs> not big on speeches. <laughs> He's hardly the only one. Ah, shoot. It's something Noah Gordon lives with every day. It's exhausting thinking about it. Noah works at a Chicago-based marketing firm, but he's deathly afraid of public speaking. He says this paralyzing phobia affects his entire life. Your brain shuts down, so you just have to stop. So why do we panic? Experts point to evolution. Long ago, when many eyes were on you, chances were you were prey, about to be attacked. So today, when you're in front of one of these, a primal part of your brain thinks it's actually one of these. We had to either flee or fight. Priscilla Shanks, a public speaking expert who's consulted for ABC, explains. The sweating is so that the body can cool off quickly. The shallow breathing so that the oxygen can go to the muscles. And then the adrenaline kicks in, all to help us fight harder and flee further. None of that works for modern man when he's feeling frightened in a situation which is asking him to be cool, calm, collected, and connected. That's it! That's Noah man. found a That's class it. at the famed Second City Comedy School. They put people on stage and get them comfortable with the sound of their own voice. Some of their secrets? Number one, breathe deeply right before starting. That sends a signal to shut off the fear response. Number two, get right to it. The first 30 seconds are when you're most likely to panic. So ask a question. Get your audience involved. He did in the club. <laughs> Noah says it's helping him face those cats back at the office as a lion and, uh, himself. <laughs> and here's John Quinones. He's at the Sundance Film Festival, by the way. How many people there admit they've had fear of public speaking, John? So many, Diane. Hollywood heavyweights, not only Michael Bay, but people like Kristen Stewart and Johnny Depp say they are petrified to speak live in front of a group. Okay, fess up. How about you? Fear of public speaking? 
You know, I was painfully shy as a kid. I, my knees would shake, my heart would pound, I would sweat profusely if I had to speak in front of the class. But then I joined a drama class. I got to play Romeo and Romeo and Juliet. And maybe it was kissing Juliet on stage, but something <laughs> brought me out of my shell. You conquered stage fright in tights. Okay, John Kenyon is reporting in tonight. <laughs> Thanks, John.